What up my automation enthusiasts? Welcome. I am extremely happy that everybody's here today joining us, ready to learn some amazing automated testing. If you are here, I know that you have a desire to become an automation engineer or to just improve your automated testing skills and become one of the best out there. You want to seek stability, you want to seek new knowledge, and you want to improve so that you are a star at your workplace and I applaud you for that. You are extremely wise to be here and if you don't know, we are QTP Tutorial. You can find us at www.qtptutorial.net and our goal is to help you accomplish all that you came here to accomplish. We provide you all the latest IT knowledge related to testing with QTP, now known as Unified Functional Testing and we teach you everything that's necessary to be the best automation engineers. And today I am excited about the topic because we have been getting so many questions. I guess so many people are coming to our site or to our different social media pages and they're asking, hey man, where and how do I get started with UFT? And so we've decided to create a series for all of you beginners or even for those individuals that just want to, you know, dig their roots a little bit deeper, who may have a pretty decent understanding, but want to learn a little bit extra, we're creating that series to take you from the beginning to the end of getting started with UFT. We are going to discuss a lot of amazing concepts here, guys. And like I said, even if you are knowledgeable in the game, I still suggest you watch these videos because I bet that you will learn learn something new because we always throw in some amazing knowledge in our tutorials as we go through them. So what we're going to master through all of these videos is right here. We're first gonna start with how to work in an agile environment. Then we're gonna proceed with identifying for you guys what is unified functional testing. We are going to then cover what is automated functional testing in all of its advantages, disadvantages, and how to figure out what are good candidates for automated software testing. Finally, we are going to wrap it up with using UFT so that you guys can open it up, set up your first test, create an amazingly quick script to get you up and running, and then leave you to enjoy UFT for yourself. So now that we got the intro, let's go ahead and get started.